You know, I've been watching some documentaries in the past uh, few days with my wife. Uh, we like to hang out a little later at night, 10 o'clock, smoke some hookah and, um, you know, watch TV. And we've been kind of, you know, I'm like, well, instead of just bench watching Netflix, let's bench watch Netflix, but actually get educated. So we started watching uh, documentaries and I like entrepreneurial stuff. So I've been watching uh, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Warren Buffett. You know, there was uh, this movie, The Founder. Uh, which is the, the cool story of how McDonald's came about and everything like that. And uh, I started, you know, learning that, you know, people like uh, Warren Buffett and Steve Jobs that they, uh, and, and, and Bill Gates, that they, like their focus was all about their company and building their company. And then once they got to a certain point where they got, you know, just massive amount of wealth and that they were just very known and, 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 and you know, they had kind of um, a, a abundance of money um, many of them got in a rut where they just didn't see themselves waking up every morning and driving and having that fire, you know, because it's like, well, when I first started uh, selling on Amazon, it was because I was desperate, right? Um, I was desperate for, desperate for change and I was in survival mode. I had just lost my restaurant and I simply needed to do something, accomplish something. So it was selling on Amazon and then debt cleared, started getting a little comfortable, you know, uh, 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 some a few thousand dollars in the bank, 10, 15, 20, 100, couple hundred thousand, it started getting that cushion. And I just noticed that that drive just wasn't there anymore. So you see these billionaires and then now they shift their focus from they, they, as you can see, you know, Jeff Bezos, this just recently did it where they stepped down from becoming the CEO of their company, which if you, if you think about it, it's like, decades you've been building this company now you're going to step down okay that kind of doesn't make any sense and then you see them shift their uh, attention to uh, uh, um, to becoming you know uh, uh, um, like getting it and uh, going into a cause something much bigger giving back to society you know uh, I know that Bill Gates was building in Africa uh, sanitary toilets and, and changing their sanitation and their you know clean water systems uh, um, uh, Jeff Bezos obviously is trying to get go to uh, go to space and create new opportunities out there. Uh, someone like Buffett, um, you know, also uh, interested in, in similar things and 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 finding vaccines for specific illnesses and things like that. So you start kind of thinking about what is that? Where is that coming from? Right? What's happening? You know? And to me, people ask me a lot of times is why did you start teaching? And I always go back and say, well, this is the same reason why Warren Buffett and Bill Gates and all these rich people went from, you know, uh, um, driving the main thing to now going after someone that is something that actually has a cause, something that actually has a mission behind it and something that actually has a vision behind it, because that drives you a lot further than just $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, excuse me, $1 million dollars a month, $100 million a month, that kind of stuff, right? Because after a while, money just becomes a number and then you get numb to it. You, you know, you have a car, you can buy a nicer car. You have a house, you can buy a nicer house. You go out twice a day, a week. You can go out seven times a week, but you get tired of it, right? Uh, if you have a boat, you buy a yacht. If you have a, a house, you buy a mansion. But then there comes a point where it's like, well, okay, what's going to happen after? So always going into anything in life with a mission, and with a vision to accomplishing something greater than yourself will help you not only go further, but also avoid getting discouraged. And in fact, avoid giving up throughout your journey. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of times um, you wanted to accomplish something and then you get, you know, you get, you hit struggles, you hit hiccups, you know, and especially with a brand new business. If you're trying a new venture, if you're trying a new business, if you're starting something new, you're always going to hit hiccups. Those will happen. But by successful people, they're not people who, you know, just gave up the first time they 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 had a they went in a rut. They just said, okay, well, this, I guess this thing doesn't work. I'm gonna try something else, right? And then they just kept on trying until something worked. But then it's like after a while, how do you keep going? Right. So you want to make sure that you have a vision and you have a mission in mind that it's bigger than yourself. It's bigger than your spouse. It's bigger than your family. It's bigger than your teams, bigger than your companies, bigger than your surroundings, bigger than the money in the house and the luxuries and the material stuff, whether if it's giving back to people, whether if it's impacting people's lives. Our mission in our company is we want to impact a million lives at a time. We want to dent the universe by impacting a million lives at a time. That's a huge mission. 
I wake up every single morning now excited than ever to lead my team to make sure that I offer them the best opportunities possible to make sure that we provide our students the best uh, resources possible and get them the best success because our mission is to impact their lives, right? So I show up every single day with that in mind. And I can't tell you the last time I felt discouraged or I felt, you know, like giving up, you know, because I have that mission. But a few years ago, I did feel like just letting go. I did feel like giving up. In fact, before I started Amazon and uh, even before I started my restaurant, I did have a couple of businesses that were pretty successful. But then because there was no mission, there was no vision, there was no reason to really keep going further, I kind of let go. And it wasn't, I just gave up. I just folded and walked away, but I kind of let go. I started uh, resting on my laurels and over time, it just uh, vanished. So I hope this video found you well. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see anything else in regards to this topic or any other topics. Also, let me know in the comments what you most like about this video. Hope to see you in the next video. Take care.